free wool for clothes and sales. Our wonderful doppel sheath wool, who mother Sigdriva at the Antakani, need warm clothes for their travels planned. They will be looking for precious old manuscripts and things all over Iceland. That has become a quest, and they really are looking forward to it. The Icelandic sheep the settlers bring with them has amazing wool in two layers. Rune fie, phrase rune from Sanskrit pasha, pashu, domestic tethered animal. The inner layer of wool is soft and warm, called thel, pronounced thel, good for soft warm clothes. Sheep wool is the lope in lopapesa. The outer wool layer is coarse and water repellent called tog, and also the tog, coarse water repellent, has been used for making sails for the Viking ships. The loom used is kljávefstol, or with a kljávefstoli. The sheep wool material, loðli, used for clothes, can be heard in the epithets of Ragnar Lodbrok, as he obviously owned a brook, trousers, made of loði. These, for sure, have been wonderfully water repellent ones. But these wonderful lifesavers, the Icelandic sheep, do have a bit difficult a character. They tend to bear the nickname the wildest domestic animals in the whole world. These, on the comic cartoon, say yeah, it's me, I, instead of using ordinary sheep language, meh. They are egocentric little brats like the owners. Of course they take after their owners, who are Icelanders, a mixture of Norse and Irish. How could that plan become anything other than trouble, lack of discipline, and somehow wild behavior? Islanders are partly held without realizing by the incurable Islander syndrome. The Islander syndrome is, in a way, good. We are the navel of the universe. Even the barking dogs surrender with their tail between their hind legs when the mother sheep tramp down their foreleg and invite their horns for an attack. And on other trouble, no fences seem to be a barrier to keep the stubborn creatures in place. In Icelandic, a proverb, stubborn as a sheep, stöð þrár. To begin with, they lived wild in the forests in Iceland. The trouble for the forests in Iceland was, and still is, that these lovely, apt, tough creature going wild eat all the new little plants. The consequence is erosion, that ends up in barren black volcanic sand and nutritious soil blown away into the Atlantic Ocean. The sheep, having destroyed all the trees, live wild in the barren wilderness, at least during summer. Archaeology, Reykjavik, woolwork tool, snailtu snoother decorated with rune writing. But their color variety is beautiful, and it's one of the many unique smart looks has its own name. Because of the outer water repellent layer talk, the sheep never gets wet, the inner layer thel always dry and warm, and they can stand any blizzards and windy rain weather. The owners take advantage and make good Icelandic clothes.